your dream? What's your dream? Hey, mister. Hey, what's your dream? The American dream. There's a reason they call it a dream. <laughs> Who's there? It's necessary that you get the losers out of your life if you want to live your dream. I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream. I'm Ezekiel Hall, and this is the American Dream. Technology is at the very heart of where we're headed, as we each aspire to be more than we already are. Take for example the picture estimated to have a marketing value of $1 billion snapped at the 2014 Academy Awards by host Ellen DeGeneres. What could be more American, more of a dream come true than being part of the ultimate in-crowd of Oscar favorites? From 1984, when George Orwell piqued our curiosity with the prediction of a technology-driven generation, to the cyber explosion that made millionaires out of Silicon Valley geeks, the American dream is an ever-evolving, very attainable goal with corporate and individual aspirations. It has to do with being everything you can be and knowing what that is. Most everyone dreams of being more than they are, having more than they have, and doing more than they already know how to do. But everyone's personal definition of the American dream is different. Some are born into wealth and privilege, a natural position of power. Others find themselves fighting to get free of their birthright of poverty. Still, others just sit down on the job and give up all hope of attaining anything higher. While, even those who have lost their way... Ooh, that's a tough one for me right now. They can refocus and find their way back. Let me not answer that. I think the American dream to me um, is getting an education, going to college, getting a degree. James Treslow Adams is actually the one credited with coining the term, the American dream, back in 1931. He said, the American dream is that dream of a land in which life should be better and richer and fuller for everyone. Neither of my parents graduated from high school. They married uh, very young. I was the first in my family to go to college. Um, and not only did I, I go get an undergraduate degree, but I got a, a law degree. Coming from a southern mill town of 500 people, uh, where I, my parents both worked in a mill, and uh, we lived in a four-room house that the mill owned and somehow out of that now I've been a practicing attorney for almost 40 years. Proverbs 26 reminds us to train up a child in the way that they should go. The American dream is not only about education. There are also long-lasting marriages and healthy successful children. We've been up and we've been down. Uh, we've had some rough times, uh, you know, the economy and things like that, but um, we have we have remained uh, together and have remained uh, strong as a family, and uh, as a result, uh, we have, I, I guess, really now we're living the American dream. But there are those whose dreams have been derailed. I've been driving around for hours now. I mean, I do have another job that I have to be at in a few hours, so there's got to be some place I can take you. Take me where? He has alienated me from my entire family. He made me put my mother in a home because she didn't fit into his American dream. I don't have any place to go. One, zero, all
And I guess it was derailed because I believed or was taught as a young man, especially a black man in America, that you're supposed to solve your own problems, uh, not ask for help. It's a sign of weakness. That caused me a lot of pain and suffering because I had no one to talk to. I shut myself off from family and friends. And instead of being honest with myself and asking for help, uh, I just caused myself to derail by, you know, uh, I felt I was incompetent. Uh, I looked at my father as a hero and uh, I didn't match up to him. And uh, instead of picking up the phone or writing a letter and say, hey dad, what do I do? You know, I kept right on my path of this self pride type of stuff and uh, it cost me everything, my family, my career. Almost my life. After eight years serving in the Marine Corps, hoping someday to be headed for outer space, poor decisions led down another path. Uh, for the last couple of weeks now, I've been having what they call uh, night terrors. That's, I'm reliving that incident over and over and over again, like Groundhog Day. Of all places that happen, this happened in the projects, in the hood, you know, under some real screwed up circumstances. and. I took this man's life. But you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and saying to yourself, it's not over until I win. Right now it's simple. Right now it's to enjoy what I got right now. Uh, not just live in the moment, but enjoy life for what it is. You can live your dream. Each person uses the American dream as a goal they set for themselves. Something they can reach for that gives them hope no matter where they are in their life. The dream is a continuously growing, constantly changing, ever evolving pursuit of something better, richer, and fuller. If you had asked me that, it would have been to marry Holly Berry. <laughs> Getting a successful career, if you want a family like me, have a family, be a man, take care of responsibilities and uh, do what you need to do to succeed in life. That's what I think the American dream is. And have fun. Listening to my grandbabies talk to me on the phone. Hey, Papa. Even talking to my ex-wife, like we had lunch today. And uh, just to be able to talk civilly. And she just yak, 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 yak. And I'm just looking at her like, okay. I love you too. You know, and to be able to do that and 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 feel okay with it, you know, uh, allowing God to do what He wants to do in my life. So, what am I? What is my future plans? I don't have it. It just whatever God decides for me. I mean, yeah, I'm going to work at doing something else, but whatever He wants me to be, if it's just Doing what I'm doing right now, sitting here talking to you, or to whoever else is listening. That's fine for me. Be a part of humanity again, and, you know, and not be the problem, but be a solution. You know, I have very few regrets uh, about uh, my life, uh, pretty full. Um, I've never been in a band. Uh, that uh, that would have that would have been. Uh, a dream for me uh, to be a singer in a rock and roll band. This is about life being ahead of you, and you run at it. You're about to see something that you ain't never seen before. can't say that I do. I don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. Really? People know me. Love who you want to love. Live how you wish to live and never let anyone ever stop you from turning 
your dreams into your reality. Thank you guys so much.